Come on in. Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and oh my gosh, do I have a treat for you today. Today we are going to be covering a special order 4081 Dutch Star. I cannot wait to walk you through all of the things that make this the best coach we have in inventory. Again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm coming to you live from TransWest Truck Trailer RV. You can always find us at TTTRV on YouTube and you can find me at RVs Inside Out because as usual, I like to start my RV videos from the inside out. So Jody, go ahead and take her on back. Uh, today we are looking at a really fantastic uh, ideation of the Dutch Star. One of the nicest aspects of this coach is that this bath and a half model 4081 floor plan has some really cool features, uh, both in 2023 and then again in 2024. So in 2023, we have all new cabinetry, all new valances, all new Lamberquins, and all new interior features uh, in terms of color combinations. So today we're looking at the Stratton interior. Uh, one of the best aspects of this coach though is that we took the time to special order this coach so that it has an even lighter and brighter interior that you will not find on any other Dutch Star in the marketplace because we've reversed the leather interiors. So we've taken what would be the accent color, that light color gray, and taken it out and reversed it and put in, um, or taken the dark color out and put in this beautiful light color gray throughout the coach. And then we are also looking at the Glacier Glazed Matte Finish Cabinetry. So as you can see, this is not the, uh, the gray, the driftwood. This is the Glacier Glazed, but it has a very nice warm tone to it. It's a great color combination and it's really set off by these handles. So I love all of the dark material that you'll see. Instead of having a, a bright stainless, we've got a nice dark brushed stainless on these cabinets. Um, we did order the optional Splendid washer and dryer. And of course, this is a fantastic washer and dryer. One thing I'll tell you is that I have found that I don't only use it to wash and dry my clothes. And I know historically I've talked about using it as a bit of a hamper and certainly we still do, but I've found myself really liking to dry my towels after I get out of the shower. Now, that being said, you have these great decadent towel bars on the exterior of your shower door, so you can really have a nice access point to reach your towels when you're taking a shower. And then of course, we've got this lovely interior with all of this um, designer inlay where you've got your subway tiles and a crisscross pattern. Uh, again, all of that dark faucet, you know, just a really, really nice way to pair into the Stratton. Uh, I think it really accentuates the grays that you see in this coach. Uh, the rain shower head and then the handheld wand are both really nice features of this coach, but they wouldn't be as nice as they are without this fantastic cathedral ceiling. So this cathedral ceiling has separated the Ventana and the Dutch Star for some number of years, but it's what gives you all of this height in here so you don't need to have a skylight above the shower. Now I do want to briefly touch on the fact that this does have standard the Shower Miser water saving system also known as Aquaview. This shower system is something that if you are boondocking and you aren't attached to fresh water and you're trying to conserve your gray water tank you can use this system to preheat pre that 105 gallons of fresh water and to keep it from going into your gray tank until you're ready to actually take the shower. So you just turn on the little dial, it's right down there below the faucet, um, and you turn it to recycle. You'll hear it actually working, and it will heat the water, and then when it's nice and warm, you flip it back over and it'll start coming out of the shower head. Of course, you can choose whether it's coming out of the wand or the rain shower head. Just a really cool feature allowing you to, to conserve that 75 gallons of fresh or of gray water that you have uh, for capacity. Now. This coach again has a 105 gallon freshwater tank, a 75 gallon gray water tank, and a 55 gallon black water tank. It also has some really cool standard features like this egress door for instance. So if I just simply go to unlock 
and then unlock here, I can open this door and you'll see I have complete access to the outside. And I've got this really cool ladder that deploys and it's reusable. It's a nice metal ladder. It's nothing that you're going to have to replace if you use it in the case of an emergency. But more importantly, this is a great place to be able just to take out your linens, to load up things for your trip. Maybe you want to bring all of the things in um, or out from the grocery store when you've got your pets maybe in the front of the coach so you don't have to use that front door to go in and out with some of those larger items from Costco, for instance. Um, so I really like that feature. Another nice feature in this coach, which is standard, is going to be this really cool place to keep your cotton swabs, you know, maybe your uh, Q-tips, things along those lines. And then down here, you've got a great place to keep your TP. I love that. I mean, great place to keep anything that you need. Again, you're going to have a 55 gallon sewage tank. So when you want to keep your treatment, you can keep that down there. And then you can reserve this cabinet to keep all of your linens. I mean, look at how many beach towels, uh, how many sheets, all the things that you might possibly need to be able to keep, you know, face cloths uh, all up here in this really nice linen cabinet. And I want you to notice that when I open this, this is tethered with a chain. This type of detail that they use at Numar, uh, these coaches are manufactured in Napanee, Indiana by a very largely popular, largely Amish population. The attention to detail and the pride and craftsmanship in the Numar product line is not only visible here on the surface, but also through all of the walls and all the underlayment of this coach. This is a really well-made product. Um, and you'll notice that we have this beautiful woodworking, for instance, on these Lambrequins with this nice, you know, very, uh, how shall we say, um, subtle decor so you don't have anything too gaudy. I also love the way that this wallpaper tags right into this fantastic subway tile. And this is all aluminum aligned around the edges, so you're not going to have any rough visible edges. But you've got this beautiful high uh, design look. And this is my absolute favorite countertop. I have this in my own 2022 Dutch Star. I'm sorry. There I go dreaming again in my 2022 Superstar. Um, but paired with this dark undermount sink, um, this glass sink is so pretty, again, with that dark faucet. And then look at how much room you have here in this rear vanity. This is so much space. And of course, you can just keep your flat iron, keep your hair dryer plugged in, everything out of the way. So much room here. And then I do like to use bins for everything. Um, if I forget to take something out of my coach and it freezes, I don't want it to explode all over the carpet. So I love these uh, little compartments here because you can keep things in those bins and you don't get that rattle going down the road. And of course, you know, we're always trying to keep, keep things from rattling. Um, so I did like this light so well that I actually have it in my daughter's bathroom in our new house. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty in love with the way Newmar chooses their uh, materials. They do such a great job. Again, there's that little chain just keeping that door from hitting. Um, I do have this LED light uh, on today. I wanted to show you how deep this pocket is down here. So for anybody who's got, you know, a bin of maybe winter jackets or things that they want to store in their coach, great place there. We also have the optional safe. And then one of my favorite things about the 4081 floor plan is all of this space. So another huge cabinet underneath. Um, I guess if you had all of your towels in the uh, cabinet above the toilet, you could keep your linens in here. Maybe, I don't know, your hiking boots. And then tons of room here uh, for his and hers if you want to keep your underwear, you know, bras, things like that, bathing suits. And then look at this six full drawers, fully extendable, of course, all solid maple, a huge place to keep all your cleaning supplies but so much drawer storage. And these small drawers are really the big difference maker in a coach. Um, of course, we've got the great cabinets uh, in the bedroom, but those big deep pocket drawers aren't good for separating little things. You could keep all of your jewelry, for instance, in one of these drawers, uh, you know, and then all of your cosmetics in another, and then your toothbrushes and everything in the other one. Um, so not to be missed, we also have our robe hook, which I think is really important. And then over here, Jody, if you want to just trade places with me, that bottom little light there, that is an aquamizer light. That is the light that you would use to turn on so that you could tell when your water was heated up. So you'll see that that's blue right now. That would actually turn red in the event that the water was hot enough to go ahead and take a shower in. So Jody, I'm gonna go ahead, don't, 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 I'm gonna jump in front of you because I want to show another one of my favorite features. And I miss this one quite a lot. It's the opportunity to show off my very handsome cameraman. There's the guy behind the scenes. 
thanks for the cameo today, Jody. Uh, as you know, he is absolutely my favorite videographer, does a fantastic job. And I don't know if you caught an opportunity to take a look. Um, I think I did six videos at the Newmar show this year for the 2025 product launch. There are some changes, um, but before we get into those changes, I think what's really important to understand, this coach in 2024 had a really cool uh, update. You now have three 15,000 BTU air conditioners and heat pumps on top of this coach. So for those of you that are going to be going to those more humid climates or those hotter desert landscapes, this coach is going to keep you cooler in the summer, which is really, really nice. Um, that's something that I think a lot of people had talked about for a long time. And I've actually done a few special orders um, in the Dutch Star, specifically the 40 foots, because of the fact that this is one of the smallest uh, surface areas that you can have with the most air conditioners. So for those of you who wanna have a nice, cool experience when you're down in the Keys, this is the coach. It's gonna have all the dexterity with the tag axle. It's gonna have all the power with the 450 horsepower engine, the 1,250 foot-pounds of torque, the 15,000 pound towing capacity, and it's going to have all of the air conditioning as well. So very, very nice aspect of the 2024. Now I do have the, uh, day, the night shades deployed right here. These are an optional power shade set. Um, and what's nice about that is I've got the remote here. It comes with two remotes. There's a magnet, so I can just go ahead and attach this to the refrigerator front and rear. And all I have to do is go over here and push all night. And then all of a sudden, all of my shades are coming up. And so this is just really, really handy. I can hit all day and then all my day shades are coming down. So this is just a great way to be able to execute control within your coach. The remote's handy if you're laying in bed. When you go to bed at night, I know for me, I turn my ceiling fan on with my remote and I turn the light off with my remote. So you could do the same thing. You could keep this remote night, right next to your nightstand and, turn, and open and close your shades at at your will uh, without having to go into any kind of app or any kind of wall panel. You've got a nice remote control right here. Now on the nightstands, I want to make sure we talk about this. One of my favorite things that they came up with was this cutout. So you have all of the access for your cords and wires uh, that can run through with that cabinet door closed on your nightstand. And there is, um, of course, the higher end coaches you get into a London Air, for instance, you'll, or an Essex, you'll have a little dot, a little circle where you've got that wireless charging port. Personally, I know that if I move around at night and I knock my phone off of the charger and I wake up to a cell phone that's not fully charged, I'm not going to be a happy camper. I'm going to be a little bit, you know, upset because I'm going to have to plug my phone in, let it charge before I can go out and get on my hiking, you know, trip or whatever it is. Because I use my apps. I mean, I use, all, you know, all the All Hikes app. I use my Run Keeper. You know, I use all these things when I'm out on the trails. So I wanted to bring my phone with me fully charged. Um, all of that being said, this little cutout gives you the ability to do not only all of the charging that you need, but also if you needed to have a CPAP machine, you could put one very easily below your heart level, next to your bed, out of sight. No one needs to see the cord hanging down and know what you have. You can stow it away. Uh, and I mean, that's one of the things, at the end of the day, if you've got company that's staying with you, they're gonna be coming through your bedroom. So you may not wanna have your oxygen cord hanging down to the left of your thing. I mean, sometimes it's just dialogue we don't need to get into. So being able to stow it down here, keep it plugged in is so handy. And then as you can see, we have this fantastic under bed storage. These are 11 inches uh, wide, both of these inserts. So this extendable dinette has the two extra chairs and also the uh, two extra inserts. So you can really get a lot of people around that dining room. Um, now on the right here, you'll see we have some of these hydronic heat vents. So there's one over here on the left. And then there's also one over here on the right. And then you'll note that above that, uh, that register, you also have your chair rail and your smoke mirror, just giving you a little more depth in this bedroom as well. Uh, something else we should certainly make mention of is the redesign that they did on these cabinets. Um, I do think that this is really elegant. I kind of think futuristic, a little bit Star Trek. I mean, it's given a little Star Trek to me. I don't know about you, um, but it's super classy, very clean, very modern not at all um, gaudy, but also very, very fancy. So a nice execution here, tied in of course with this beautiful tufted headboard. And then above this, you always have your little grommets that you can run through, 
with your two 110 outlets up top. And then down below here, you'll see we have our all lights off switches right here next to our reading lights. So very easy. Again, all you need to do is have that remote for your blinds and then your all lights off switch and you can be ready to rock and roll and just jump right into bed. Now you'll notice over here on the opposite side of the bedroom, I am standing on something that we were having to have installed uh, in the previous model year of 2023. Uh, we started off with a little bit of a rough patch uh, for our floors. It was a little bit mottled. It had like you could see the anti-slip treatment on the coach floor a little bit more than you'd like to. So we subbed in a lot of King Air fl tile floors and also a bunch of New Air tile floors, honestly. Uh, we didn't need to do that on this coach. This is a beautiful wood plank porcelain tile. It's very, very uh, durable. And I have this throughout my house uh, in my kitchen area. I have to tell you, it's great with dogs. It's great with high traffic types of residences. This is the kind of look that a lot of people are really going for in their homes. So this feels really homey, but you'll notice I'm also not standing on carpet here. And that is because the Dutch Star has a full wall electric slide that goes all the way from the rear to the front of the coach. So this entire slide is one slide and it lifts up hydraulically and comes in and goes out. And that's what allows us to have a full tile finish in this RV. Now you'll note you also have, in addition to that rear closet, which was also huge, two more wardrobe closets up front here. Uh, these are flanking your 43 inch smart TV. Now this does have the optional Wi-Fi package. Um, we have two different Wi-Fi packages that we offer. Uh, the higher end one has a place for two SIM cards. So if you would like to do the InMotion Starlink in 2025, Newmar has made it available as a factory installed accessory. Here in 2024, we would install it here at the dealership. But newly, because of the great success that we've had with Starlink in the RV industry, our friend Elon went ahead and upped that price point. Upped. That's a new word. Um, he upped that price point to $250 a month for your high bandwidth in motion Starlink. So for those of you that don't want to spend $250 a month for Wi-Fi, uh, for us, it's just simply not necessarily. We have a cradle point system with two SIM card slots. We have a business account with Verizon. We have a hundred gigs of data. We pay $70 a month. That is a lot less than $250 a month. And it's a cellular based program. And it's great for us because if we're camping where there's a lot of trees or anything that's above us, we don't have to worry about having that block our reception for our Starlink. Now, I do have Starlink at my house. I do think it's pretty fantastic. So we can do both. That would be like the coup d'etat. If you wanted to have everything, you would do a Starlink system as well as the mobile system. But this mobile system that's fully integrated by Numar has a 5G connection with two SIM cards. So you could spend, you know, 140 if you wanted to have two $70 cards and have 200 gigs of data per month. Uh, we've not found that we've gone over our 100 gig uh, limit with our Verizon plan, but of course you can give me a call. I can walk you through all the different ways to have telematics into your vehicle where you can use this smart TV. So I love this smart TV. If you're a Peloton fan like I am, I can do all of my workouts, all of my stretching, everything on an app on my smart television. So you can bring all of those things that you like about your home with you on in your RV. Now, of course, I don't have my Peloton bike, but I can do all the core workouts, all the weight things, so you can keep it in shape while you're out there on the road camping. Um, now, again, we talked about these big, deep drawers. As you can see, there's a ton of space here. And the reason you can see all the way down into these is, of course, because they pull out past the wardrobes, which is just another nice feature of Numar. Um, you're going to have five of these in this other drawer over here on the right. You'll see that you've got some shelves. These are adjustable shelves. This is a really nice feature. You don't necessarily need to use it for telematics. You don't necessarily need to have a Blu-ray player in there. You might keep flip-flops in there and high heels. Who knows? Um, I mean, this coach really has so much flexibility in how it's operated. And then here you'll see we've got two 110 outlets underneath. And then also you'll note that I've got the window shade deployed here. This window shade that's outside is an optional feature. So this coach is fully loaded. It has all of the awnings, uh, both the Gerard, the big awnings outside, as well as the individual window awnings. But what's so nice about these is if I want to adjust this up, 
so that I can see out a little bit and still keep the sun out of the coach. I don't have, um, in my coach, I have a 2022 Superstar and I have to tether those window shades into a specific position. With these power shades, you can actually adjust them so that when you're opening them, you can still have good visibility outside of your window. So if you're laying down and if you've got a beautiful lake view, you know, on the business side of the bus, you can still see that out of your bedroom window, which I think is just great. Now we should talk about these pocket doors. They're super heavy duty. They're really, really dense. They're going to help you keep the sound out from the front. So if you want to go to bed early and let the kids stay up and play, you know, cribbage or blackjack, whatever it is that they like, you can do that and still get some shut eye. And then as we get into this center portion of the coach, on the left-hand side here, this is one of the changes that we had in 2023. We've given you a centralized 10-inch monitor that gives you complete control over all of your lights in your stool room, in your bedroom, in your bath, your kitchen, your living room, and even outdoors. And this is also Bluetooth compatible. So you can see things like your HVAC settings. You can turn your uh, kitchen, bedroom, or living room a ventilation on and as you'll see again there's that third air conditioner which is new for 2024. Uh, you can also set up your auto gen start here. You can monitor your power. Now on this particular coach we have uh, definitely got a lot of great features but this coach was designed to be a budget coach. Um, that sounds really funny when you're looking at Dutch Stars but I assure you if you will allow me to review with you the way that we've chosen these options on this build sheet and some of the things that we were able to admit to keep the costs down. Uh, this coach was designed to be 100% everything you could ever want, but nothing extra. So just trying to really make sure we're spending efficiently. Um, a lot of times people will go, oh, I'll just take everything. Well, there's a lot of everything that you might not need. And that's what we've done with this coach is we've eliminated some of those key features uh, that are really expensive. And we've uh, gone ahead and gotten a fantastic value for dollar. And then on top of it, this particular RV is on the Freightliner chassis with again, 450 horsepower. But you'll note that over here on the left-hand side for 2024, there are some different chassis ads uh, for both Freightliner and Spartan. So it used to only be Spartan would cost you an extra $8,000. Now having your Freightliner chassis will also be an additional charge if you order to 2023, or it will be built into the price point of the 2025. So they have had a chassis price increase. Uh, so this coach is also going to be pre that increase. And then this is um, the color palette uh, book that we use to custom order our coaches. Of course, you've seen, again, those nice Lambrequins that we had in the bathroom, um, some of the decor that you see throughout the coach those beautiful porcelain floors, the polished uh, salad surface countertops. But one of the things that's different about this coach is that this is the color, and I wonder, um, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I gotta take this off later anyway, so might as well just start now. This is the color that the couches should be, this dark, dark gray. And as you can see, one of the things that's so nice about this glacier glazed uh, maple finish is it's got a warm tone to it. It's not cool. So you've got the beiges. I wore my beige pants today um, and my blues and grays so that I could really kind of accentuate all of the different colors that are being brought into this coach. It's a very warm coach with a cool undertone uh, by switching up this lighter leather for this darker leather. And I really think it's just spot on. And as you can see, it pairs so well with that countertop. Just really love the ability to be able to do that. And keep in mind, just because COVID's over, and people have inventory on the ground does not mean that you have to buy whatever somebody has. I do a ton of special orders still to this day. In fact, I'm working on a base star order right now for somebody out of San Diego. Um, I've got a mountain air. Uh, is it? No, it's a London air coming in next month. So there's a lot of things that I should say. If you are interested in having something specific, I would love to be of assistance in helping you to really uh, get this effect where you're spending as little as possible to get everything that you possibly want. Um, and we can really do some fun little modifications that make this feel like home. Uh, now, this is a great aspect of the 4081. I love this extendable uh, island here. Of course, a great place to keep your chips and dips. But look at the size of these drawers. This is one of the best aspects. This coach 
uh, for a short footprint, 40 feet, 10 inches long, has so much space. Also in the countertop, so you'll see tons of room here if you had a toaster oven you wanted to keep out, if you had a coffee pot you wanted to keep out, and there's uh, 110 outlets on both sides of the stove, so on the left, as well as over here on the right. I get a lot of people who ask me about that. Um, I do want to mention that this is also not only a microwave and convection oven, it's also an air fryer, and it's a huge, huge compartment. One of the nicest things about this is if you get a clay pot, like a Romanoff clay pot, you can literally make your, your Thanksgiving dinner in this coach. Then it will come out succulent, soft, and juicy. All of your uh, spices can be held up here. This is one of the deeper spice cabinets we have. Uh, what's nice about that, I don't know if anyone's a Lari's fan, but we put Lari's on just about anything like french fries, hamburgers, steaks. You've got plenty of room for your Lari's up there. And then you've got these great cabinets throughout. And then little things like this extension so you can get to the way back. And then I'm going to flop this down just so you can see. This is the insert for the microwave. We don't have it in the coach. Um, I put my kitchen towel between mine so that when I'm driving it doesn't rattle so much. But whatever, whatever you'd like to do, you can. Um, so another thing worth mentioning, beautiful high gloss subway tile backsplash, new again for 2023 with that redesign. And also in 2023, we introduced this beautiful farm style, dark finished uh, dual basin sink. And I wanted to show you, I'm gonna slide this over so you can see both sides. So really nice separation of space. One side is just a little bit larger than the other. And then down below here, you have your storage compartment. So if you wanna keep those, co those covers underneath while you're camping, you've got a place to stow them. And then you can pull your uh, cleaning supplies all the way out as well as your trash can. Um, the one thing I'll say, it's a small trash can. <laughs> um, and I have a small trash can too. It just means you take the trash out a little more often, which is fine. Now over here on the right, uh, we've got a return for the heat, but we also have our uh, we also have our kick plate for our central vac. Some of the other manufacturers only offer the vacuum hose attachment, which is right here next to our really nice night light. So these little courtesy lights you can leave on just by themselves, nothing else at night, so you could see around. But this is where you would attach your hoses. Now, what are the hoses? Good, lots of stuff. I mean, maybe you spill something in this big decadent pantry, and you need to clean out one of these push to release drawers, who knows? Um, so you might use your hoses, but really the ability to just roll up your, uh, your throw rugs and then sweep into that kick plate makes this coach so easy to manage. Now, of course we have our ice, I'm sorry, our water dispenser, no ice dispenser, our water dispenser on the door. This is our 19.7 cubic foot refrigerator. We use this Whirlpool in just about everything. It has some really nice, fantastic upgrades, a meat and cheese drawer that no one else can rival, an adjustable shelf that you can drop down so you can have your Prosecco in there, um, or orange juice. I guess you could have Prosecco with orange juice. That would be a mimosa, that's a good idea. Uh, and then you have this great freezer. Um, so plenty of room for your ice and your ice tray, lots of room for your popsicles, and then you can keep all your steaks and chickens and stuff like that. Uh, and again, this has a water filter here, as well as a standard whole house water filter. Uh, as mentioned earlier, if you do have company, I love the fact that you have this half bath. The vessel sink on top of the countertop paired with this glacier glazed maple is absolutely exquisite. This is so well done. There is so much cabinet space and storage in this coach. It's pretty fantastic. And then as you can see, and I, you know, maybe fail to mention this. These are porcelain toilets. Uh, this does have the optional SantaCon macerator system. Um, such a nice feature. And then the flush, if you can just show that, Jody, down below. They finally went to a visible flush. So at night, you're not feeling around trying to figure out what you're doing. You can actually see what's going on. And then this pivoting uh, pocket door gives me the ability to enter this bathroom and still have access during the uh, during my drives when I'm going down the road. Now I will open these cabinets just so Jody can show you through. Look at how much storage space you have here. Really pretty fantastic. And then there's a nice outlet mounted and hidden away inside of this cabinet so you can keep your again flat iron or hair dryer there. Plenty of room underneath here for storage. 
big drawer storage as well. Two more little compartments here. A great place to keep more cleaning supplies for the front of the house. And then up above, we still have the brains of the organization. So you'll see here we have are really nice. So one of the things I'll tell you, they've changed the way that you see things in 2025. If you watch one of those videos, you'll see that a lot of this uh, has been redone. But one of the things that's so cool about the way that we do do things at Newmar is even before we redid it, it was still done very well. Look at how nicely these are all typed in and labeled. I have to tell you, I've got a really nice house and my electrician hand wrote all of the things in my uh, bigger boxes that I don't know what half of them say. So there's something to be said for attention to detail. And of course, Numar certainly has that. Um, so now as we enter into this galley area, we can talk a little bit about this table. Now I know that you're probably thinking, gosh, that looks pretty long for a full extension. Well, have no fear. There's a table leg that you can deploy. Just lift it and it'll set in place. And then it's got a magnetic attachment so it stays in place when it's time to put it back in. But one of the things that's nice about this extendable dinette, if you are looking for a dinette, it has a standard uh, space that stays in place. You can keep your salt and pepper here, some napkins, maybe your Cholula. And then also it's got these nice bolstered seats so you can lean back and relax, have a glass of wine, maybe play some cards, just shoot the breeze. I mean, this is a really, really comfortable sitting area. And another thing that's great about this coach is I've got uh, the recliner turned around, so you've got a total of four recliners with an opposing couch. In this theater seating setup, you also get, uh, instead of having an 87 inch height of bed on this side, you've got a 68, fold, 68 inch wide tri-fold on the passenger side, so you still have a full size bed, and then you've got these really decadent, very comfortable uh, theater seats and also, as you'll know, I've got the smaller seat. So the seat that's turned around is not the queen's seat. So for those of you that are petite and you don't want something quite as wide, or maybe you don't have a small white dog, um, or your small white dog wants to sit on your lap and not next to you, I consider this arm width to be worth mentioning. This is more comfortable. Another thing that this coach has, and I'm sure you saw it when you came in this morning, um, is I have my uh, little, they call it a tablet holder or tablet desk. So it's designed to like have your iPad on there and you put a soda pop there, a LaCroix, whatever it is so that it doesn't go skittering around. In 2025, they got rid of the tables. I was so sad. I was like, everyone loves these tables. They are so handy, especially if you're having a sandwich or something and you wanna have that comfortable eating space. Now over here, you'll see we have some great places to keep your water bottles behind each side. And again, as you go up these valances, you can see how pretty this is. And also I have my blinds deployed. So I've got my day shades, but I have also the window awning covers for both the passenger and the driver's side seat. So both port and starboard have the uh, blind or have the awnings deployed. And what's nice about that is again, you can adjust the height of these. They don't have to be all the way down so that you can see out of those windows, regardless of wherever you're positioned in your campsite. Now I do want to go ahead and pull these up. Um, as I showed earlier, touch of a button, very, very nice feature. Everything retracts. You've got outlets over here on the uh, rear side of the dinette, as well as in the center. And then you've got all of this great storage up top for, you know, for me, probably glassware in these. Um, I do keep all of my plates and dishes and placemats underneath my, uh, my dinette. So I think that this is a great place to keep your placemats and your plates. You've got two of those as well. And then here, if you do have a small white dog, you've got plenty of room here next to you, or you can sit very comfortably in the middle. And then you have uh, a USB charger right here in the actual control for the theater seat. It's funny, I've been doing this for quite a while now, and I look back through some of my videos, there's so much to cover. Um, but one of the things I try to cover often is how reclined the theater seats go. That's a question I get quite frequently. Um, also, I like to show where you could keep your blanket storage, because I think it's really important to have your snuggles when you're camping. If you're watching, oh, we like to watch Stranger Things was the thing that we, like, we, we were binge watching. Um, and then you have your remote holder here, as well as a cell phone holder. Just, you know, nice space. 
and then I'm going to go ahead and put the TV lift up. Now this coach also has, so you have your 50 inch uh, smart TV on a televator up front, uh, but also you'll note that you have the optional TV in the front cab. And sometimes people will say, why do you have so many televisions in the coach? Well, the truth of the matter is, is if you think about this coach in it's your mobile home, right? How many TVs does somebody typically have in their home? They have multiple rooms that have televisions. And if you're going down the road, you can't keep your televator up. Well, you can, but you're not supposed to. And if you do, you shouldn't tell anyone because if it breaks, it's your fault. Um, but if you want to keep your stuff nice and you don't want your televator to get wobbly and break, it's nice to be able to have the television on up, up front. The other reason that you might consider doing that is maybe you're listening to the news in the morning and you don't necessarily want to block your windows. It's a great feature. Now, one thing I think is really no important to note, if you get the recliners, you don't get the same windows. Um, so in one of the special orders I did on a 4081, I put recliners in here and I actually subbed in and asked them to install this type of window because this is such a great way of opening. If you've got any kind of rain coming down, instead of having the sliding opens like you do over here that are smaller, you've got these big, nice, very, very breezy windows that you can open and the rain still will not come into the coach. Um, but just a little more ventilation and also a little less um, busyness in that window because there's no break in it. So like that feature, um, we'll just cover quickly over here where you could keep all of the Parcheesi, the backgammon. Um, of course, I'm a big fan of keeping uh, containers labeled, of course, A through Z, so that you can have all of your supplies neatly organized up top here. Uh, that's been, of course, one of my favorite ways to organize my coach. Um, and when we get to the front of this coach, oh, we, we don't want to miss this. So the sound bar, super important, very, very nice thing to have. Uh, so you can get surround sound on your TVs or on your movies and then storage up here, plenty of room for DVDs or for television or for, um, sorry, board games again. And then everything is wired here. So you've got access to your USB ports or uh, HDMI ports, I'm sorry, if you've got to plug something in like a, uh, a uh, PlayStation 5 or any kind of disc player. Um, I don't really use any of those. Everything that we do for the most part is just download, downloaded through Paramount. Um, and then over here on the left, you'll see we've got two more 110 outlets as well as USB ports there. So there's two there. There's another two USB ports and two 110 outlets here as well. Um, my phone is sitting on the wireless charging dock, not exactly all the way on, so it wasn't charging. Again, that's my, that's my only gripe with the little um, ones that they put on the nightstands for the higher end coaches is if it's not making good connectivity, it's not charging, what a drag that would be. Um, map backs in the back of your seats. These are the types of small details that when you start looking at other manufacturers, you'll note are missing. Um, this is a great place to have a map back. You might have a birding book that you're keeping there or wildflowers, who knows. Um, now another great uh, aspect of this coach, in 2023 Freightliner did a lot of nice chassis upgrades. They've given you a much better interface with the steering wheel controls. Um, things like V-Ride, Brake Assist, um, uh, what, what else? So V-Ride, Brake Assist. Uh, so then also your independent front suspension that you have on your uh, Dutch Star chassis. All of those differentiations that you get in this Freightliner, of course, carried over from 2023 to 24. Uh, another very important feature to mention is Comfort Drive. Comfort Drive is that thing that helps you when you're having crosswinds to, f to keep from having to fight that steering wheel. It's actually an electronic steering wheel that has a bias towards straight. So as that wind is pushing against you, you're not having to push back. The coach is gonna do that for you. Um, another great feature that we changed actually before 23 and 2022, um, when we got into the Dutch Star level, we get these two huge monitors. Uh, in 2025, they actually have, um, for instance, in uh, the mountain air, a, sing a singular cover over the monitor um, like this already is. So I think that this is a great feature. You've got a really nice singular cover in these, so there's no break here. And then this coach has the optional um, let's go ahead and hit that 360, 360 degree camera. Um, this is really handy. I didn't know how much I liked this until we almost took out a water spigot 
down in San Alejo over the winter. Uh, really nice to be able to see that picnic table, not behind you, but in front of you that you might hit when you're making that wider turn. Uh, another nice feature to mention, uh, we've gone to the stop control. So you've got reverse. Um, can you see that, Jody? right there? Reverse, neutral, and then drive. And then this is your um, engine brake. So you've got off, uh, low, medium, and then high for your exhaust brake. So that's a great feature. Another list, wireless charging uh, dock over there. And then as you can see here, it says A for automatic headlights, which is a great feature. You still have your fog lights. You will have your house and chassis battery boost. You also have your power window. You also have heated power exterior mirrors. And then your HWH hydraulic leveling system is the same system that we used to power your HWH slides. So very nice integrated system. Um, that hydraulic leveling system is so cool because it will actually um, drop all of the air out of your rear tag. It will dump all those rear airbags and allow you to level without hyper extending your, uh, your front jack. So it's really cool that you don't have to actually think through things. You just hit auto and it will deploy everything appropriately for you. It's got levels in there and then you can manually adjust that, which is a nice feature as well. Now up here you'll see uh, I've equipped this coach with solar prep. I have not added the four 110 panels on there because for 440 watts, I can get you 570 for almost the same money. Um, in fact, a little bit less uh, instead of going through the Numar uh, flat panel system. Now ours are a rigid panel. They're raised and they're solid as opposed to being something that you can walk on, but you really shouldn't be walking on top of your coach all that much anyhow. Um, of course, we've got our power control system, but again, great monitoring ability in the center of the coach. This is your Razor antenna, so you don't have that little hand adjusted one on the ceiling. It comes standard at the level of Dutch Star. Uh, you also have, again, we've got our both of our awnings are deployed here, but there is an awning remote as well. And then all of your power systems, once again, you can see what's coming in, what's being used, what's going on with your magnum inverter from your center panel as well, which is really nice that you don't have to come all the way up to the front of the coach here and try to read this little tiny box. Uh, now you'll note that I have our security lights on. I'm not running our block heater. Um, and then our exterior kept, uh, uh, step is not locked. I'm gonna go ahead and lock that. And then you've got your LED lights below the slides. So that's an optional feature that we have of course, anything that you can do to help set up at night is always nice. And then this is all of those awning controls. I'm not going to pull these in right now, but this is where you would actually control all of these, except for the rear bedroom one is going to be underneath your, uh, it's going to be underneath your TV in your rear bedroom. Um, so that's the only one that has a control in the back. Now I am pulling in the slide right now, and I want to show just this coming up over that hydraulically lifted side segment. So that lifted up and now it's rolling over the top of your solid porcelain tile floors. Um, this is of course the aspect of Dutch Star that brings you above that of the Ventana. If you don't mind a little carpet, you can save some cash. Uh, but if you want that all tile floor, uh, that level of luxury starts here with that coach. And as you can see now, I also have that rear door open so that you can see you do really have access to that rear bathroom, even with your slides all the way in. And I will walk back there just a second so I can show that to you. Um, but yeah, this is a really, really nice execution of the least expensive and most uh, useful, I should say, uh, well-equipped coach that you could have in the marketplace. And where we've done the savings, so we have, of course, the Spartan um, and Freightliner chassis, again, are really nice chassis, but they have an upgrade available where you can have an adaptive cruise control. This coach does not drive for you. You're going to have to sit up on the accelerator and brake for yourself in traffic positions. It still has cruise control. It's just not adaptive. Um, it still has the mobile eye. So if you start to depart, depart the lanes, it will still buzz you in the butt and tell you, hey, you should probably wake up. And yes, you can still turn that off. It's just got some of those features uh, that are part of that higher end package uh, not included on that. So for instance, that on guard package is saving us almost $9,000 and not having it. The other thing that this coach does not have, it doesn't have the $10,000 heated floor package. So between those two options, we have just saved $20,000. 
that's a lot of that's a lot of moolah that's a lot of cash um, I am gonna go back here just to show you how easy it is to get so that wasn't like an optical illusion and then I can still again get into my refrigerator I can still get into my cabinets I can still get into my freezer I can still make Jody a sandwich um, so that's a super nice feature I am gonna bring this in because one of the things that we um, kind of went back and forth on with this coach was whether or not to put a special paint uh, package on that. Now the special paint is really inexpensive. Um, so if you want to do your own paint colors, I super encourage you to do that. Super encourage. It's another one of those new words for the dictionary. Um, no, I highly recommend that you would choose your own paint colors if you can't find something that you like. But being that there are so few 2024 stock orders of Dutch stars out there, we just didn't feel like it was necessary to special order uh, the paint colors on this coach because not a lot of people are going to have this. It's going to be uh, something that you don't see um, a lot of. This is, uh, of course, the exterior is the Preston graphics. Um, but since you're not going to see a lot of the Preston graphics out there in the world because there's just not simply a lot of 2024s, I don't think it's really necessary to uh, special order the paint. Now, of course, this is where you would keep your baseball caps. I don't know if anyone uh, has watched some of my older 41 or 4081 videos. We had a client who had his baseball cap in there. It got quite the ruckus. Um, but over here, you'll see I've got a shade here that comes down so I can black out all of these windows. And one of the things that's so nice about this area here is if I'm putting my shade down, it's in these tracks. So it's actually really, really, really going to black out the front of the coach. Um, and it's, it's just a nice execution. Again, Newmar does such a great job at making sure that this coach doesn't only work, but it works very well. It's very, very sophisticated. And then on top of it, they have the best customer support. So Newmar customer brand specialists uh, Spencer and Mary are both there to help you. That 800 number does go to an after hours line. If there's an emergency for some reason and you need to make a call, you can get a hold of one of those two folks. Um, also, you'll note above that we have our JBL Dare to Listen. Newmar spends a lot of time making sure that this coach sounds good for you. Um, so great customer support, uh, great sound system. Little things like these drawers are so nice. Um, so great place to keep your wallet, maybe your keys, your sunglasses. And then you'll see here down below, we've got our visor shades or our visors uh, controls, our shades. Uh, we can also turn on and off our docking lights. We've got overhead fans, just like those little ones where you used to see that were, you know, the, the, the old fashioned ones. They're still there. You just, they just work differently. And then you'll see here, we also have, um, our generator ability to start and stop our generator from here as well as outside of the coach, which is very handy. Um, I can lock and unlock my doors here. And then this visor is for over here. And then I can change my camera view for my 360 camera. Now I am gonna go ahead and stop this generator. Um, now this of course is going to be the uh, eight kilowatt quiet diesel generator on the Dutch Star. If you go into the 43 foot coach, you will get a 10 kilowatt generator. Um, I totally, like live off of my eight kilowatt. I've never noticed anything um, that is lacking in it, but I, you know, I know that you get a 12.5 and a King Air. There must be a reason that a bigger generator is better. I've never figured out what that is, but I believe that it's, I don't know, probably got some good use to it. Um, okay, so as we go out here, I'm just gonna show quickly, um, if you do have fine furry friends, or maybe you just wanna keep your boots um, and your tennies underneath, this is a great storage place. It's underneath the stairs at the exit point of the Dutch Star. And then over here on the left, we've got a fire extinguisher, our patio lights, and then lock and unlock our baggage doors, as well as our house disconnect. And we'll look at the battery disconnect for the chassis in just a minute. Um, but go ahead and come on out here, Jody. Let's take a look at this uh, fantastic Preston graphics. Uh, one of the reasons that I really love this is You've got some of the nice dark blacks, so you've got that nice coloration there. You've got a kind of a steel gray color, and then kind of a really nice 
um, taupey silver. So this silver is really cool because it matches a lot of different things. And as you can see, there's a little bit of a turquoise sparkle here in this, uh, in this gray. And then another thing worth mentioning is that I have the number pad with the illuminated uh, handle, so I can always find my front door. I also have lights at my awning cover, so if someone was standing out here in the rain, they could stand underneath here while they waited for me to come open the door. And then of course, we've got our full awning set deployed here. That's probably the thing I miss the most because it's oftentimes windy here. And a lot of times when I come outside, they're already pulled back in. They do have wind sensors. Now these do not have wind sensors, but you can see how well attached to the side of the coach they are. They're gonna be a lot more sturdy. So if you are in a high desert climate like we are, where that sun is super intense and you wanna keep that heat out of the coach, this is a great thing for people like us. Now in this 40 foot coach, we are going to have a 100 gallon fuel capacity. Again, 150 if we go up to a 43, a 43 foot coach. Um, I did pre-wire this for the refrigerator. As you can see, there is no outdoor refrigerator or slide, but all of the wiring is there. So if in the future you'd like to have that added, that would be a very easy add. All the complicated aspect of that installation is already done. It's an inexpensive add, but it's also a great way to have dexterity so you don't have to spend that money if you don't think you're going to use it. You can get on the road and camp a little bit first and decide whether or not you think you really need that exterior refrigerator out there. Um, again, another 43 inch smart television, great sound bar. Um, there are two uh, 110 outlets as well as USB ports in this cabinet. Somebody said, why do you spend so much on an exterior TV that you can buy for like a thousand bucks at Best Buy? Well because you've got to put this door in here. Um, you have to put the mounting equipment in there. You have to put the wiring in there. You've got the sound bar. Um, so there's a lot of things that are really complicated that go into this coach. And one thing I'll encourage you to do, anything that you'd like to have done, have it done by the manufacturer at the factory. I do so many cool pre-wire things for people with solar arrays and other stuff. Uh, that you can really get done at the at Newmar and it will cost you less to have it done at Newmar than it would cost you to do here where I've got to have a technician uh, hoping he doesn't run into the wrong wire putting you know things through the underside of your coach. Um, that being said we've got a pretty talented group of individuals who work on these coaches. Now I wanted to show you that this does come out to 60 percent so you could load the middle of it even with your slide deployed, but also you can see our star foundation, which stands for strong, true, and robust, as well as our LED light here underneath in this coach. Um, this is a really nice aspect of this coach. So that strong, true, and robust foundation is taking with that Z-shaped rail, the heavier weights of your slide and forcing that, that center of gravity towards the middle of the coach. So not only do you have V-Ride where you've got a wider stance in your suspension system, uh, on the Dutch Tar, of course, that independent front suspension was a better uh, turning radius as well. Um, but you also have a center of gravity that's centered towards the middle of the coach, giving you even more performance going down the road. And then you'll see the way that this coach is assembled, that chassis rail is well down below the floor of the coach. This is going to give you a quieter ride going down the road. It's going to give you larger bay storage, so a lot more height availability in the front aspect of these bays. So you can put your shorter things in the back of this, but you have really tall bays here if you have a cooler or something. Um, and then as you can see, your central vac is loaded up high because of the fact that, again, we're using this raised rail system. Uh, one thing that's kind of interesting about this coach is that when they assemble this coach, they actually build this three inch thick subfloor uh, underneath the coach. And then they take the entire all tile finish and they assemble it on a separate tray that is actually heated so that it can cure that, um, that grout to the exact temperature it needs to to have the most effective and the most solid execution of curing. And they cure it separately off of the coach. And then they take that entire floor and they move it over and they put it down on the base of this Dutch star. And in addition to that, they also have 
uh, maps and cutouts for where the furniture is going to go so that you don't have any furniture sitting on top of the tile. And what does that do? It reduces noise, it reduces tile breaking, and it also reduces weight. So Numar, once again, is very, very good about the way that they think things through. Now, I did want to mention that outside here, we do have our awning control. So you could also manually control your awnings from outside if you had a big wind gust or something. You can plug your blender in here um, and then slide your tray out. And then you just keep all of your Patron and your mixers right here in this center bay. Or you could keep tire shine in there. I mean, it's really up to you. Um, <laughs> That's a great place for top shelf though and mixers, I gotta say. Now you'll notice there's a little drain cord going down on the left. That is because the top of this coach is enclosed in a little patio. So all of your appliances, uh, your air conditioners, your Wi-Fi things, uh, if you had satellite, a satellite receiver on this coach, this coach does not have an extra receiver um, or an extra satellite. Anything that you had up there though would be in this nice cloistered environment where those crosswinds would not be affecting it as much while you're going down the road. And of course, that's gonna give you better longevity for your appliances. Now, as you can see, this is that rear bedroom slide, but below that I've got my docking lights illuminated. Uh, we can't see the underslide lights because of course the slides are in. But on the left of that, you'll see that there's an Audi wheel. So you have here your Michelin uh, 315s. These are Michelin 315 80, um, um, and then 22 and a half radius but that audi rim indicates that this coach actually has a piss has a little uh, pin that releases from the caliper and allows this wheel to pivot under 20 miles an hour and what's so nice about that this front driving wheel so this one has two tires on each side so a total of four versus just two all together between the rear axle this front driving wheel which gives you all of that good grip is going to be the center of your turning radius to the front wheel there. So as you can see, you have a much, much smaller turning radius when you have a passive tag axle. So this is up to 17 feet smaller in circumference when you make that turn. That's a lot of agility that you get going into a tight camp spot. So if you're staying at one of the smaller parks, of course, this is a 40 foot coach. It's gonna get you better access into more campgrounds. Um, so if you're staying at one of those smaller parks and you're, it's pretty tight, this is going to be the coach that's going to give you the dexterity to get into that parking spot you might not otherwise be able to get into. So really nice feature. Here's that egress window. As you can see, that window does open in the bathroom, so you do have some fr nice fresh ventilation. Of course, you've got your fantastic fans throughout the coach. Uh, this is going to be where you would put your deaf fluid. So when you get to the level of Dutch Star, a few things change in the configuration of this coach. Um, of course, you're going to have on all of our Freightliner chassis, the chassis disconnect is up there in that top compartment. Um, but when you go from Ventana, which on a 40 foot Ventana, you'd have a 400 horsepower engine, that same 1,250 foot pounds of torque, uh, on the Dutch Star, you're going to have a 450 horsepower engine. So it's still that same L9, 8.9 liter Cummins. If you want to get into the smaller ISX, you'll have to go up to the mountain air. Uh, or the large ISX, you'll start at the London Air. Uh, but as you can see, so you've got this 8.9 liter Cummins with 1,250 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, but because of the fact that you've got that second axle, you also have a 15,000 pound uh, weight rating for your hitch. You also have, again, we talked about brake sync before, and then you've got your seven pin connector as well. So all of this is standard on that Freightliner chassis but you'll notice you can see the marriage of our Freightliner chassis to our Cummins engine back here in this rear compartment because your radiator is side mount. So that's the big change between Ventana and Dutch Star. Oh, I did it, Jody, I jumped. Okay, um, so there we go, nice and, nice and tight. Um, so like I said, you're still gonna have ultra steer, for instance, you're still gonna have your brake sync, you're still gonna have comfort drive, but one of the things that's nice is we move this radiator to the side and that's what's giving us all of that extra space in that rear bathroom. Um, it doesn't really have a lot to do with breathability anymore. We're pretty good at aiming where the air goes there. You also have dual fill def. A great place to keep, uh, if you wanted to keep a spare gravity hose, for instance, and maybe some gloves for when you're fueling up, you could do that. Uh, but in this coach, we did opt for this optional SantaCon system. Now, it's interesting, I didn't know why SantaCon was such a big deal until somebody came in uh, and bought a Superstar for me and he said, Katie, 
I have to have SantaCon. I need to dump my gray water into a drain where we go camping most often because we're boondocking and I can't use a gravity hose because it's going up a hill. And I said, well, how do you do that? And he said, I just attach a little hose to the end of this and I can actually pump out my gray water up the hill into the drain uh, that's up there. Now, of course, he's not dumping sewage into the drain. It's just the gray water. But when you have a 105 gallon water capacity and you go through your gray water tank and you need more room so you can take another shower, maybe do another load of laundry, that's a pretty cool feature to have in the SantaCon system. And of course, the SantaCon system is optional at the level of Dutch Star. So we did opt for that. Nice little paper towel disposer or dis dispenser. <laughs> there as well as your outdoor shower with hot and cold water your power water reel as well and then again we talked about this earlier but your whole house water filter uh, here's another great docking light so these docking lights are so nice that you can actually see on the business side of the bus when you get to your campground late at night and then you have your 50 foot power cord reel and again these little LED lights are in all of the compartments just really cool. I did put the surge protector on here. Uh, you can still use one on the pole, but you don't need to have one. Um, if you're in a place where maybe um, it might be taken if you left it out, uh, you would go ahead and just use the one that comes on the coach. Uh, but you could do double if you wanted to do that. Um, now this dual loop Chinook system, um, they introduced this in 2022. What it does is it gives you a second loop of the hydronic fluid. There's an eight gallon reservoir in here heating up that hydronic fluid, pushing a tube of liquid underneath this coach, forcing air over there, giving you forced air heat. So you've got hydronic heat in this coach as well as your heat pumps. Uh, that forced air system um, is also the same system that's providing you your tankless hot water heater. So you don't have to have uh, a propane tank on this coach to have hot water. And what's so nice about this dual loop system is it runs on AC1 and AC2 off of 50 amp or the burner system. And the burner system can be uh, operated for this coach while you're boondocking without being plugged into any kind of electricity. So if you wanna still be able to take a hot shower in your Dutch star and you're gonna maybe go up you know, for a day or two boondock get off grid you can do that in this coach and have really hot water and nice heat in that coach as well the other thing worth mentioning is if you've noticed a lot of these there's like little gaps over here so this is a thermostatically controlled uh bay right so but because there is room throughout all of these compartments the whole underside of this coach is going to be much warmer than that of, for instance, um, like a renegade Verona where only the water bay itself is heated. Um, and of course that helps because not everything likes to be frozen. Um, for those of you, my boyfriend has sells uh, handmade bike tires. Uh, so for those of you that are looking for a, you know, a high end uh, product that doesn't like to get too hot, this is a great, um, or, or get too cold, this is a great compartment for you because you can actually keep those things um, above temperature and they won't freeze. Uh, and of course, that's important because we've got a lot of people out there that are getting out in the world, not just to go camping, but to enjoy outdoor sports. Now, on top of it, you also have uh, saved about, let's just say tens of thousands of dollars by not having lithionics on this coach. In 2024, you could order the lithium ion battery bank for several thousand dollars, like several tens of thousands of dollars. Um, or you could do this standard battery set. These are AGM batteries. They're uh, six volt links, uh, daisy chained together. They give you 800 amp hours of battery pack or battery storage. The downside to this system is that without that second inverter, you cannot uh, run your air conditioner while you're driving down the road without having your generator on. Uh, but the upside to this coach is that you're saving again. I mean, I've probably saved in the build of this coach about fifty to sixty thousand dollars in just taking things off, and we'll still give you a fantastic price on your special order. It doesn't have to be in stock, um, so that's a really important feature to understand. You can save both in transacting with TransWest, who provides a fantastic customer experience, but also in ordering the coach the way that you would like to have it, so it has all the things that you want and nothing that you don't need. Um, of course, we talked again about that dual fill. 
Your beautiful Alcoa rims are going to give you a much quieter and a less vibrating ride down the road. So this nice, you know, of course, aluminum tire or aluminum wheel is going to give you a much better ride going down the road. And then these are 315s, um, of course. So that big wide grip is gonna give you better control, a better feel of purpose uh, when you're tracking. And then also you'll note, we've got things that are pretty simple. Access to your generator is just a little hand, a hand pull lever right here. Um, you can get into the hydraulic ones, uh, of course, but this is a really nice system because just less to have to manage. And of course, this is again that eight kilowatt generator. And one of the benefits of this coach is that when you're driving down the road, you can run your air conditioner, but if you're sleeping, uh, for instance, in a desert situation and you wanna run your ACs, you don't have to worry about hearing this in the bedroom because it's all the way at the front. And of course, while you're driving, your engine's all the way in the back. Now we did opt for the optional hot water line. This is an air shock, so you could air up your tires if you needed to. You've also got your air horns just there to the right. And then in 2023, and then carried, of course, again into 2024, there we go. Uh, we did improve our headlights. So our headlights are not only a better uh, illumination at night, so a higher candle power, better aiming. They're also automatically auto dimmed as of 2024. So these will go up and down automatically for you, giving you uh, not only better visibility, but also preventing you from blinding other people while you're driving down the road. Uh, we still have our really nice uh, cameras that turn on when you turn on your left and right turn signal. But again, with this coach, we do have the optional 360 camera. So you'll see that there's a camera up here in the front. And then there's a camera over here on the side under this docking light. And that's what's giving you that 360 ability so that you can see when you're parking in, uh, backing into a parking spot, you're not just relying on your side mirrors and your rear view camera, but you've also got an overhead that's showing you, for instance, if there's like a boulder here and you're taking a hard right, you can go, oh shoot, I'm not gonna run that over and then I'm not gonna have to get paint work done. Um, so those are the things I think that are really important on this coach. On that note, this bat insulation, if you're not familiar with how these walls are constructed and our aluminum uh, C channel framing and how everything is welded, all these windows are welded into specific places, if you don't understand why there's an advantage to being able to repair this coach with Numar over other manufacturers, you should definitely give me a call because I could tell you a whole lot of cool stuff about the construction of this coach that we don't even have time to cover today. Uh, again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm coming to you live here from Trans West Truck Trailer RV on a very nice and warm uh, first of April. Um, I love Tiffin's. April Fools! Um, hey, listen, let me know how I get you on the road and camping. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next Monday.